and welcome back to the channel today we are taking a look at the e chin e30 the twister xb it is a 1 to 14 scale 50 kilometers per hour 15 minute runtime four wheel drive rc buggy so taking a closer look here the canopy has just two cutter pins holding it down one in the front and one in the rear and they both have pull tabs on them so it's really easy to remove and they do give you some extra cotter pins. So all RC cars, trucks, and vehicles should come with a pull tab on the cotter pin, which is really nice. So here's the canopy shell. And there is a warning label on the canopy shell telling you that there is a protective film on the canopy shell. And you can kind of see it peeling off right here. So be aware of that. So taking a closer look at the RC buggy, we see that it has some nice grippy low profile tires and the tires in the rear are slightly wider than the tires up in the front and we got independent suspension all around with some spring loaded shock absorbers and we have a aluminum shock tower in the rear as well as an aluminum shock tower in the front. We have a spoiler that you need to put them yourself. Just screw it on with the provided little plastic washer bar and the screws. There's two pieces that go together. So the stickers also come separate on this unit. And I have a few stickers on the spoiler only. And the reason why is because, like I said, there is a protective film on the canopy shell. So once the canopy shell gets scratched up, I'll remove the protective film and then I'll put the decorative decals on the canopy shell. So taking a closer look at the components here, we have the 390 brushed motor on this unit with a aluminum heat shield. Now this buggy is also available with the brushless motor as well. We have a Dean's connector and for the power cable and there is a Rubicon 35 volt 100 microfarad capacitor attached to it to smooth out the power. And here is the 2-in-1 ESC slash receiver combo with a aluminum heat shield of its own. There's two accessory ports and the three wire servo connector that goes to the 2.2 kilogram steering servo. And there's the receiver antenna. And here's the power push button on and off switch. Long press to power it up. And on the opposite side is the battery. Velcro down. And the battery is a 7.4 volt 1500 milliamp 
lithium ion battery two eighteen six fifty batteries it is said to be good for about 15 minutes of runtime here is the remote controller it is a 2.4 gigahertz pistol grip style remote controller with a foam grip on the hand wheel it is comfortable for both left hand and also for right hand holders but it is made for a left hand holder so here is the power sliding on and off switch we have the steering reverse switch the steering trim dial and the speed rate dial now the control distance is set to be about 70 meters and it will take two double a size batteries all right guys so here we go testing out the ec30 the twister xb seems to be responding pretty well Got the steering trim adjusted pretty good. And it's going pretty straight. So here we go. Here's the steering all the way to the left. And here's the steering all the way to the right. And let's see. Let's adjust the speed rate all the way down to the minimum level and full throttle so there you go full throttle on the lowest rate well, it is still pretty fast but the steering is proportional so if you give it just a little bit steering look at that you can go real slow perfect to give it to a child that can RC inside a house with this one no problem the turning radius really really good you can avoid obstacles okay so let's go about halfway up and full throttle that's pretty fast the turning radius got a lot wider as you can see here and this is the full left turn obviously because of the speed and if I slow it down look at that really tight okay so let's go all the way highest rate and that's how it looks like full throttle there you go full throttle not bad okay Okay, turning radius got a lot bigger now as you can see full right turn but if you slow down you can make some tight turns okay so it automatically kind of adjusts when you're going fast all right so that is the basic stuff on this RC car so let's go ahead and put a GPS speedometer and see how fast it really goes all right guys so here we go with the gps speedometer on the canopy and i have the original battery installed in here this time it's a fully charged original battery this was the battery that i used earlier it was a homemade battery with two 18650 batteries so here we go and let's go ahead and turn on the gps speedometer wait a little while until it gathers up the satellite information takes a while all right there we go going to the mode here okay speed so let's go ahead and enter record all right there we go full throttle and full throttle again nice it's pretty decent full throttle nice little stretch and this thing should have about 100 meter distance one more run yeah that's not bad for the brushed motor version so I'm assuming the brushless version should 
go a lot faster than this one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's stop recording. And top speed, 31 kilometers per hour. So the brushed version of this RC buggy will go 31 kilometers per hour as I have tested with the original battery fully charged. So one of the coolest things I like to do with one of these RC car like this is to put on an all-in-one VTX and go FPV driving. All it is is an all-in-one VTX and a single cell LiPo battery mounted on the canopy shell with some poster putty. Put on your favorite FPV goggles and you can drive the RC car first person view. It is by far one of the coolest ways to enjoy an RC car. So I'm here at the park sitting on the bench right here wearing my head play goggles. So this RC car is perfect for FPV because it is very responsive and it is small enough to fit through tight spaces but big enough to overcome little bumps on the concrete pavement. it does really good on concrete sidewalk kind of places you know just got done doing some FPV right here there's a little bump right there so it's really grippy and like I said you can't really make tight turns but you do spin out that's a full turn on a full throttle all right, so not bad. And at 31 kilometers per hour, it's pretty decent. Let's see if it can go on grass. It's freshly cut grass, but it will bog down because the tires are not big enough and the grass is a little too tall for it. So not a good candidate for grass. So let's go and check it out on some mulch over here. Alright, here we go on mulch. Let's see if it can handle some mulch. Yeah, it'll go on mulch. Oh yeah, some twigs over there too. Yeah, throw some mulch around. No problem with mulch. And let's check it out on the gravel here. Yeah, no problem on the gravel either. But the best place to run this RC buggy definitely is on
concrete sidewalk type places or even on pavement so let's check it out on the pavement make it down yeah okay parking lot pavement I see it's carrying some debris there you go just some grass yeah you can have some fun on parking lot pavement as well yeah it does really good and the tires are so grippy when you make that turn it just grabs on and the steering kind of gets wider so you don't flip over yeah but the distance is limited this has about a hundred meter distance but so let's visually check the distance here I do have to raise my hand above my head to get a good run okay that's about I would say a little over 50 meters let's go this way it's a little bit longer run here going this way so let's check it out go all the way towards that side here let's see how far I can go my hands above my head still yet continuing to go so line of sight I would say that is close to about a hundred meters and I still got control and I'm turning around oop there you go I'm turned around and I'm coming back this way so right about 100 meters with your hand raised above your head okay coming back and there we go all right all right so here we go having some fun in the dirt Do a couple of jumps here full throttle there you go a little bit of air so not bad a little air going down so a nice little RC buggy look at that getting a little bit of air how do you know okay full turn and we can do donuts in the dirt nice and it does spin out when I do make a turn it tries to do the wide turn and then it spins out and ends up doing a donut all right pretty good I still got the same battery that I did the speed test as well as the FPV and that little grass run the gravel run and the mulch run so the battery is lasting pretty much okay let's do another jump okay full throttle jump there you go a little bit of air <laughs> there you go a little spin out yeah you can have lots of fun with this thing so you don't have to buy extra batteries if you already know how to make batteries yourself do it yourself type you can just get a couple of 18650 batteries and hook it up so that you can put it in this RC buggy make sure you do it with a Dean's connector because that's what this power cable is a Dean's connector and you can get extra batteries for yourself look at that lots of fun so the distance was pretty decent so I'm gonna do another distance run over here because I was going into the shade area and I couldn't see very well so let's go all the way down there and looks like we are roughly at about 100 meters there so yeah this thing can go about 100 meters like it said but you got to raise your hand above your head so I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna lower down my hand onto my waist and then let's go to the same spot see right there I die out I have no control so 
and I lift my hand up and I have control. So it varies on the height of the remote control on this one. So close proximity within the 50 meters, yeah, you can leave the remote controller waist level. But if you want to go any further than that, then you're going to have to lift up your hand above your head to go to that 100 plus meters. Nice. Still going. The battery life is not bad at all. And I did not charge up the battery using the battery charge cable that uh, was provided. I did charge up the battery using a hobby grade charger and I balance charged it. So, you know, that could make a big difference because uh, I just charged it using my hobby grade charger. Fully charged. It beeped telling me it was fully charged and then I balanced it and it took another 250 milliamps to balance it. So I got another 250 milliamps charged by using a hobby grade charger. So your runtime can be extended using a hobby grade charger and balancing your battery after the fact that it has been fully charged. So don't think your batteries are fully charged once they are fully charged. It is not balanced. Woohoo! This would make a pretty decent RC vehicle for the skate park, I would imagine. But it is so small and the shocks are a little bit weak. And it bottoms out real quick so you're probably going to end up scratching the bottom of the vehicle somewhat if you take it to a skate park and because it has a lot of plastic parts and not much metal parts the only metal part was the shock tower aluminum and everything else is just plastic so i didn't take it to the skate park Woohoo! but it does get a little bit of air And I can't believe it's still going. Woohoo! Hit a bump over there. And it's just rumbling and bumbling. And there you go. Another little air going down. So I'm going to play it out until the battery dies. And I'll let you guys know what the runtime of this RC buggy is. So I'm going to conclude the review video here of the Ichin EC30 Twister XB RC buggy ready to run you want to check it out for yourself the link to purchase will be provided down below in the video description as always oh I hit a little rock and it spun out and I still got control so hey it passes the semi durability test all right so that'll do it then so thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time all right let's go let's go maximum distance Woo still going still going no still going i turned around and it died walking towards it there you go, there you go. So that is the maximum distance. Once again, I <laughs> hit a rock and look at that. Hit little rocks and it'll... get detoured because it's such a small RC vehicle. But more than enough fun to be had. Nice. Oh, getting a little bit sluggish. But the battery is still so good. 15 minutes? I think maybe more.
Ooh. 